coach. It's my daughter's first year. She put the hammer on him, man. Anyway, this is a new kitchen. We're going to be doing some cooking today. I know you all been wanting some cooking videos. Uh, starting to get in the mood to cook. So, got a rabbit over here. We're going to cook it. And we're not going to do the traditional fried rabbit, all that, you know. We're going to do it a little bit different, a little bit healthier. So, stick around. I know you're going to like it. Alright, so I got my rabbit here. It's in a second change of water. It's getting it's pretty cleared up. I like to soak my meat at least overnight in salt water. And of course, we got a big old crock pot here that I've had warming up. So basically, all we're gonna do this is gonna be a real quick and easy recipe. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit him in there, drain him off a little bit, sit him in there. So while he's getting nice and comfortable in there, cover him up. We'll start getting some vegetables cut. All right, this is what we're going to put in there: carrots. You can peel them if you want. I don't, but I do wash everything. Celery, onions, baby bell peppers, and some squash. Uh, now the all this stuff can go in there right now. Those can, and those can. I'd use paper plates too to cut to cut them on because it keeps me from having to do any dishes. Put some squash in there. No, we're, going to, we're not going to throw these onions and bell peppers in there right off the bat. Alright, so I got some olive oil over here getting hot on the stove. Alright, so we're cooking this in olive oil, and just as they start to turn brown, that's as far as in the that's as far as we want to go. We don't want to caramelize them completely down to just you know dark, dark. Uh, we just want to get those uh, flavors really mixing, and I mean you can smell it. Oh, it's really starting to smell good. So that's when we want to stop. in there all the oil and all right in there on top of that alright now we're not going to go too crazy on the seasonings on this I like to, the food to do the flavoring, but man, that looks good. We're just gonna put a little garlic powder in there. The lemon pepper. Lemon's going to add a little zing to it, and just some salt. I got this on high. Uh, going to go for 
four hours on high and then we'll check it and on this one it automatically drops down to warm after you've run the high temperature out and it goes for another set like four hours on warm so pretty much just set it and forget it until oh well, we'll check it in about four or five hours Take a look. Yeah. Back leg just comes right off. Man, look at all that goodness there. All right, well, here we go. Rabbit in the crock pot. You can't mess that up. I forget I have hair now. This stuff's getting crazy. Squash is good. Let's see. Mmm. Carrots. Everything you need for a meal cooked together. It doesn't get much better than that. The crock pot, man. I love using that to cook wild game. Cooks it slow. And you just set it and forget it. I love it. Get out there and kill your rabbit, man. Good eating, healthy, GMO free. I love you all. God bless. I'll see you next time. Nice targets. A superior shooting experience. All weather, photorealistic, cost effective, long lasting, get yours today.